Welcome to my channel. This is the Little Faux Farmhouse where we make farmhouse style budget friendly uh, home decor on a Dollar Tree budget. Today we're making this buffalo plaid back here. We're not going to do the star today. We're just going to do the buffalo plaid so you can see how that's done. And we're going to do it on the star. So let's get into it. I am going to paint the background. First I'm going to put a little tea towel down. I have a little tips and trips tips and tricks you can follow along. I'm going to put a tea towel, old and stained, don't throw them away, okay, um, so that you don't get paint all over your table like I will. <laughs> so I'm going to give this a quick coat of white paint and I'm not using, using anything special, just a basic white acrylic paint, whatever you have in your stash, because this is to be, uh, this is to be budget friendly, right? And so try and use what you do have instead of having to go buy new stuff. All right, yeah. So we give it one or two coats, completely up to you. Let it dry longer than I'm going to. Uh, let it dry overnight if you can, uh, to make sure the paint is good and uh, dry before you move on to the next step, because you don't want to be pulling paint up while it's wet. So as long as it's cold, it's technically wet, and that's what you don't want. And I'm gonna hit this with the blow dryer. One second here. Now, I picked this up at the Dollar Tree in the, their little craft section. Another little tip here is I can feel the green has raised on the wood. So to sand that down just a tiny bit, I don't want to sand it a lot, I'm just going to use some brown paper from your grocery bag or your lunch sack and just give it a quick light sand. You don't need to do much and then you'll, suddenly, you'll feel it's smooth, smooth, smooth. It's, it's a painter's trick for painting furniture. It's like a good final coat sanding without scratching your paint off. So, in the interest of time, I painted the other side already and we're good to go. I'm going to take that out of the way for now. So, the next step is our painter's tape. Now, you need to use painter's tape on this. Masking tape will pull up your paint and that is not something you want. So, glasses on so I can see what I'm doing here. All right, and we're going to... I like to eyeball things. I'm not big on measuring, so that's completely up to you. But I think this is pretty much center. I think I can tell. Get the hair out of there. We don't need that. And I'm going to tape this down the center of the star or whatever your shape is. So I need a little further over. Put it where you're happy, okay? And then smooth it down. And we're gonna take another piece to use to measure the distance to the next one. All right. And use that to mark out the distance basically quickly and easily. And then pull that one up and do it again. See that? So we just push this one down. You want the edges down, but you don't want to scrape it because you don't want it pulling up that paint when you're done. All right, so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to go right beside that and I'm going to ignore all this and just pretend it's not even there. And we're just going to There we go. That's one side. So we can use this again over here. I'm gonna put my arm in my paint if I'm not careful. Have you ever done that? Comment down below if you've ever gotten paint somewhere you really didn't think you were going to when you were working on a craft. I hope that you'll try something like this. Uh, 
it's the reason I come on here, is so that you can maybe try something new with your crafting stash and your fun. All right, and then move this over one more. Yeah, I think I got it pretty much centered. It's not too bad. It's not dead on, but that's okay for me. I'm like, like I say, this is farmhouse. It's a very forgiving style. So I like that. I like it to be uh, not perfect, right? If it was perfect, I probably bought it, uh, you know, on a website, like a, in a big box, box store or something. And that's not what we're going for here. All right, so the next step is some black paint. I'm gonna put this towel down again, okay, because we're gonna need this for several steps. So I'm done with the white. I think I'll just, there we go. So like I say, don't throw these away because they're great for when you're painting, keeping paint off of everything else. Now I don't know if you can see very well, the towel's kind of, well, let's hope. All right, so you take your, your brush. Now I love the scruffiest brushes possible. You can use this, but it's not going to be easy on your brush, so I wouldn't. Right? Don't use your good brushes. I like these guys for lots of reasons. And I'm going to dip it in the paint, and I'm going to rub it into there, and then I'm going to rub it off on there as well. And that's like when you're stenciling, how you rub it out. And then I'm going to lightly, very, very lightly, brush some color on. See how that's happening? show you that see how light that is it's really 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 light okay uh, like I said you could use a different brush <coughs> excuse me you do not want it very dark and then I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit more paint over here you're gonna have different depths of color but you really want to start lightly and just just get some slight color to this this uh, step very very easy it doesn't take a lot hardly uses any paint at all i probably got way too much on that plate but if you're going to do a bunch of them you just get set up now you can see i hardly need to all right so that's step number one all right we've got the color on perfect now we're going to pull these tape off like that and because we've gone so lightly, we're going to be able to reuse that tape again. So I'm just gonna take it off gently so that I can use it again for step number two, which is coming up. Go nice and gentle. All right, so now we have, there we go. I mean, you could just stop there with the stripes. That'd be really cute in a baby's room or there's all kinds of ways you could use that. But that's not what we're doing here. And I could actually, you could actually put it this way too when you're done. So I'm going to figure out where I think the middle is here. All right. And I'm going to do just what I did the last time. So I do have a ruler for this just so I can kind of get an idea of, this is going to be a bit tricky. Ah, I'm just going to eyeball it. That's just how I like to live. Same thing. Rub it down get your your little piece to measure out in the, di the, the uh, distance okay so we're just making oh there we go let me see time and we're just gonna go right there like like that see if you just you have just the tips right there uh, showing and that's okay now again we're not going for perfect we're going for a rustic look which is so forgiving and so easy to accomplish it's why I really enjoy doing farmhouse crafts and I have some here. Let's see if that's enough. Not quite big enough. And I do want it to be just one piece. I don't want to. Uh, all right. So I will need to 
one piece across here because that's a bigger area. All right, so I do want just like that. And we just keep going. Like this. <coughs> Excuse me. And last bit, right there. Okay. So it's just taped to your towel. Step number two. All right. Easy enough, right? We could do this. Now make sure you rub it down so the edges are nice and flush with your wood. Okay. Come back to your paintbrush, dip it in the paint. We're going to do the same thing again, only this time we're going to do two coats on it. Okay. So we're going to just We're not trying to make it black black. We want it to still be see-through. Okay. It's always fun at the end when you get to pull up the tape and see, well, did it turn out the way you thought it would? <laughs> it's a different um, experience every single time. So you have to understand that that's gonna be the case, that it's never gonna be the same way twice. And you'll learn something new every time you make one. And that's what I love about it. So, let me see now. I should be able to get this out of here so you can see better what I'm doing. So that's where we're gonna go with that. And take a little peeky. Oh yeah. All right, so now, see I still went very light. There's, it's heavy in some spots. And that's just a matter of learning, okay? And it's not gonna be perfect. You cannot make it all even, it's not gonna happen. Don't drive yourself crazy doing that, okay? Not worth it. So now the fun part is taking off the tape for the last time. All right, so we pull this up and we start to see our buffalo plaid. <laughs> I love this. Get rid of our tape. Et voila. Just like that. Super easy. Now I would probably display it like this. Let me see. I would probably display it like that. And then you could put a bow on here. You could put uh, the stars on here like that. See what I mean? Yeah, you could do that. Um, you could add all kinds of things to this. You could put a nice word across here. If you're, if you have a silhouette or a cricket, you could definitely make something to go on there. So I hope that if you like this, that you'll share it and that you will subscribe and ring the bell so that the next time I upload a video for a simple budget friendly farmhouse craft on a dollar store budget, you'll get the notification and come and visit with me. So cheers. Have a great day. Bye bye.